it's been a pleasure having you at PERC, uh, especially because when I first was made aware of discordant harmony, it was just a revelation to me as to the interface that could exist between ecology and economics. People have long believed, even scientifically, that nature, undisturbed, achieves a fixed condition that is perfect, best, highest diversity, most productive, most desirable, and that any change is bad. And that why does it change? Because we act badly towards it. And the reality is nature's always changing. The climate's always changing, species come and go, population dynamics always change. So these are non-steady state, continuously changing. I couldn't agree with you more, and yet it seems to me that policy is still made based on this notion of, of nature is out there and we're, we need to put a fence around it to, to uh, uh, keep us out in a sense so it will be protected forever. Can we, can we break out of that, that still life? If you ask an ecologist or an environmentalist, does nature never change? And they'll say, of course not, nature's always changing. But if you look at the laws that do dominate our environment, they're all based on the idea that nature is fixed and steady state. Yeah. I think we could say the same thing about economists. If you ask economists, is the world ever in equilibrium, the market ever in equilibrium, uh, they'd say, well, of course not. And yet we, we create policy, we uh, profess about how we should fix the market as if there is this equilibrium state out there that we can reach by by tweaking it, by, by making these changes. And I think here at PERC, what, what we really uh, want to focus on is the ways we can, we can bring the dynamic nature of human beings and markets to interplay with the dynamic ecology. I think there's this very important central theme here that both economics and ecology need to break away from steady state thinking from equilibrium in a big way. It's hard to, to break out of, out of that mold, I think, but uh, getting you here and, and having the group of people we've had together to discuss how we might reconcile our two disciplines has just been a wonderful experience. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. <laughs>